eight tips for awesome foreplay. All right, in this video, I'm going to be giving you eight tips for awesome foreplay. So foreplay is something that women always ask for. One of the biggest complaints they have is they don't get enough foreplay. It's also something that a lot of times men complain about having to do. So I'm going to demystify a little bit this process of foreplay. I'm going to give you some tips to make it awesome and to make it fun so that she gets the foreplay that she needs and he has a whole lot of fun doing it. And of course, this isn't just about him giving to her. It's also about her giving to him. It is a mutually beneficial process here. Uh, and we're going we're gonna to break it down. I'm going to give you some tips so that you can walk away from this video going, oh yeah, not only do I know what to do, but I can't wait to do it. But before I do that, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe, liking the videos, sharing them with your friends if you find them valuable, and also subscribing to the channel greatly helps the algorithm. When you do those things, it will show my videos to more people. And on YouTube, the recommended or the suggested videos is the number one way that other people see your content. So if you wanna help other people have a better sex life and a better relationship, all you gotta do is like, share, and subscribe. Hey everybody, I am Kevin Anthony, a certified sexologist, tantra counselor, NLP practitioner, and sex, love, and relationship coach. And for over a decade, I have been helping men, women, and couples have the relationship of their dreams and the best sex of their entire lives. Okay, so here we go. Eight tips for awesome foreplay. So tip number one is you got plenty of time. You have all night if it's nighttime. <laughs> slow down. Just slow down, right? Slow down and enjoy the process. Too many people just rush right on through the foreplay. The problem with that is several things. Number one is it's not long enough to actually get the woman in the mood. And in some cases, especially for older men, if they're having some challenges with erectile dysfunction, it may also not be enough for him to achieve a full erection. So sometimes you need some time in foreplay. Now, of course, there's always gonna be somebody who's like, oh, no, I'm ready to go right away, blah, 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 or she's always, okay. You're the outliers, that happens, yes. Or there's just, sometimes there are moments, right? It's a lunchtime quickie and you're both so turned on, you just rip each other's clothes off and you go for it. Great, there's nothing wrong with that. But that's not the way it works all the time or even most of the time. So in the rest of the cases, slow down, take your time, have fun with it. Okay, the second tip is to touch each other, kiss each other before you even get undressed. So a lot of times people think foreplay is, okay, uh, I touch her genitals here, squeeze her breasts there, lick this, suck that, you know, she does touches here, licks this, sucks that, and that's basically foreplay. But foreplay can be lots of different things. Foreplay can be cuddling, foreplay can be kissing, foreplay can be touching. Sometimes for some people, foreplay can even be talking, depending on what you're talking about. <laughs> so yeah. Make sure that you're doing things before you even get undressed that could be considered foreplay, that start to get your mind in the game, that start to get your body in the game, right? Before you even go to those other levels. Next one is to slowly get undressed. Again, if, it, if it's a hot and heavy situation and you're both hot and heavy for each other and you want to rip each other's clothes off and they go flying all over the place and you dive right in, great, that's awesome. And again, that's not the way it goes all the time. So for the other times, undress each other slowly. Make it something fun to do. You could even turn it into a strip tease where you each you know, slowly strip for each other. Uh, it's sometimes really fun to slowly take off pieces of each other's clothing. Make it part of the game. Make it fun. You know, it, it, it's funny because, you, you know, partners will often say things like, you see me, you know, in this outfit all the time, or you see me naked all the time. What's the difference? And it's like, it, it doesn't matter how many times. If it's something we enjoy looking at, we enjoy it. So maybe we've seen you in that same bra and underwear a thousand times. It doesn't mean that we don't still enjoy seeing you in it, right? So just slow down, take your time, slowly undress each other. 
All right, next is one that I talk about all the time on this channel, and that is don't go straight for the genitals. We're talking foreplay here. There's a whole lot of other parts of the body you could potentially be touching. Uh, I've talked about this in numerous videos. I even did an entire video on uh, erogenous zones other than the genitals. So go, go type that in the search uh, on my channel. That will come up. There are lots of other places that you can start. So, you know, if you're a man and you're wanting to do foreplay on her, you know, think about areas like the back of her neck or the inside of her elbow or behind her knee, right? Places that are uh, sensitive to touch, right? Places that feel good, places that'll send tingles through different parts of her body. That's a great way to get started. Now, Typically, we say with women, start further away from the genitals, work your way in. For men, it's okay to start right with the genitals. Yes, it is okay, uh, but for the ladies watching this video, you don't have to start there. There are plenty of other places that we like to be touched too. So think about other places that he might find a turn on, maybe close to the genitals, but not quite on the genitals. Right? Maybe uh, even the back of his neck or his back, you know, like running your fingernails gently up and down his back. There's lots of other places and ways that you can touch each other before you get to the genitals and they help build up that anticipation like, oh, that feels so good. I can't wait until he or she gets to, right? So that's part of the foreplay process. All right, the next one is consider doing some sort of a mutual uh, massage. It's a great way to get started. You know, this one is really good for those nights when you're like, it's date night. We know we need to connect because this is really important for the relationship. We're tired. We're stressed. We're not really in the mood, but we know that if we at least start, we will eventually get there which is often how it is. Uh, not always, obviously, some nights you're both gonna be raring to go, but some nights you're not. And one of the dangers with couples is they wait until they have those hot and heavy moments, and that's when they choose to have a date night or sex. But those don't come very frequently after a while. So then you end up with huge gaps between the times that you're connecting or the times that you're having sex. And so that can be a real problem that people can build up resentment because how come she never this or he never that, right? So one of the things that I teach all the time is schedule a date night, right? And make sure that you're connecting on a regular basis. Well, sometimes you're just not really gonna be in the mood even though you know it's date night and it's something that you're supposed to do. And so when you run into those moments, just say, okay, I'm tired, I'm not really in the mood. You're tired, you're not really in the mood. Uh, who's the least tired one? Okay, that would be me. So, all right, roll over onto your stomach. We're just gonna start with some massage. It's a great way to start to get the juices flowing, to get ourselves to uh, relax, uh, to get some of that energy moving. Uh, I know that's one that Selena and I used to do all the time and we would have date night and we would, we would say, man, we're both so exhausted. What are we gonna do? And you know, I'd say, well, how are you feeling? And, you know, then I, of course, would know how I was feeling. And I'd just gauge from that. And I'd be like, okay, uh, it seems like you're pretty wiped out. So how about I start by giving you a massage? And sometimes it was the other way around. Sometimes it was like, man, I got nothing left in the tank. I am completely wiped. But maybe if you could, you know, give me a little massage, uh, you know, touch me a little bit here or there, I'll start to, you know, get more of that energy moving again. So it's a great way to start. All right, so now we're getting into some of the things that are more classically thought of as foreplay, and that's oral sex. Oral sex is a great way to start before you have actual penetration. So one of the reasons, of course, is it adds lubrication, right? So if you are giving oral sex to a woman and or a man, you're providing lubrication that will make penetration easier. It also, of course, will help a man achieve a strong enough erection to have penetration. And it will also help a woman achieve enough lubrication internally right, to be able to really take her man in. So oral sex is a great way to get started. My only caution on this is this. If you're a woman and you know maybe you really love giving oral sex, uh, so that's part of um, one of the things that you really wanna do in foreplay, if you know that your man has a hard time uh, maintaining control over his ejaculation, in other words, he tends to ejaculate too early, 
don't go too hard on him on the oral sex because if you really go for it, you're going to bring him so close to his edge that he's never going to be able to come back down again. And then when you do do penetration, he's going to ejaculate way too early and you're not going to be satisfied. So if you know that that is an issue for your man, just go a little easier on the oral sex. Check in with him, ask him where he's at, how he's doing. Maybe take some breaks and pauses in between. That sort of thing will really help out. And then for a man, generally it's not a problem and, and it's generally a good thing if you get her really, really revved up via oral sex. The only thing is, again, if you have difficulty maintaining uh, or holding your ejaculation, um, the problem can be that she can get so highly energized that when you penetrate her, it's like sticking your penis in an electrical socket and it's so overwhelming to your system that it can trigger an ejaculation. So you would want to be mindful of that uh, if that is a situation that you're currently dealing with, which is trying to learn mastery over your ejaculation, but you haven't quite gotten there yet. Otherwise, oral sex, fantastic way to uh, really get the foreplay going. Okay, and the very last tip for this is to get creative. Get creative, think outside the box. One of the things that I often hear from clients is that, you know, the foreplay is always the same. You know, he goes down on me a little, I go down on him a little, and then we go straight to penetration, and the whole thing, bing, bam, boom, 10 minutes, and it's over. You don't want it to get boring, you don't want it to get stale. So change it up, do different things in different times, do things in different orders, do things in different ways. Maybe try bringing in some toys, you can even use some food. Uh, there's lots of different ways that you can change it up, spice it up, and make it so that it's not always the same thing all the time. Maybe sometimes you use your hands, maybe sometimes you use your mouth, maybe sometimes you use both, maybe sometimes you do some massage, maybe sometimes you don't, right? So mix it up and don't be afraid to experiment and try things. When in doubt, just ask your partner, what would you think if I tried this? Or would you be open to trying this? Would you like it if I did this, right? And he or she may say, yeah, that would be amazing. Thank you so much for asking. Or they may say, I don't really know, let's try it, right? And then when you're doing it, they may say, that's amazing, I'm so glad we tried it. Or they may say, you know, it's not really working for me, can we try something else? And that's perfectly okay. Don't be afraid to experiment and have fun. And if something doesn't work, and it's, it just fails miserably, just laugh about it and move on and go, okay, that one's out of our toolbox, it's not something that we're gonna use again in the future. All right, so there you go, there are eight tips for awesome foreplay. I hope that you found that helpful. And as always, if you want to find out more about my work, please go to kevinandseline.com forward slash link in bio. That one page has links to everything that I'm up to. Uh, it has links to my coaching programs for men, women, and couples, for my online courses at powermastery.com, for my podcast, The Love Lab Podcast, this channel, recent media appearances I've been on, products that I sell. It's all right there at kevinandseline.com forward slash link in bio.